Hey guys, every once in a while you come across something fairly interesting. I'm here at the Tim Hortons parking lot and I didn't know whether I seen a garden shed going down the road or a car. <laughs> that is pretty neat. Exactly what is this? It used to be a 79 Toyota Corolla. Did you build this yourself? Yeah. Like, what was your inspiration? Uh, money, really. This was just what I had laying around the yard pretty well. Well, except for the lumber, I stole that off my old boss. <laughs> <laughs> there's no, uh, there's nothing like getting some job site perks, eh? Yeah. How long did it take you to build this? About five years. No kidding. Yeah. I tell you what, guys, if you actually looked at this, you'd be quite impressed. It looks quite amazing, actually. Like, it is... Is that right, eh? Yeah, I rebuilt it in a camper that I traded the blazer for. What do you figure, Hound? You having a good day or what? <laughs> hey? What do you figure? Open the lid up there. Let's take a gander at her. So it's a 1.6 liter 2TC. What was it again? A 1.6 liter 2TC. So it's got a three speed transmission. I tell you what. And again, it holds together not bad. It hasn't all shooken apart. No, not yet. How long have you had it for? Uh, five years. No yeah. How many miles have you put on it? Uh, about 600. I tell you what. Do you worry about forest fires ever? <laughs> tell you what you know what it's interesting most guys worry about rust he worries about termites <laughs> instead of buying rust ray what do you get you got like deck and uh this summer, you get deck varnish and do her up yeah this was actually some sort of stain that was in an unlabeled can so i tell you what I am absolutely blown away by like how good it is and how it's held together. Yeah. I've had it doing over 140. What? 140 what? Kilometers. <laughs> That's where the speedo tops out at though. <laughs> I tell you what, it'd be about the equivalent to having your garden shed in a hurricane. <laughs> yeah, definitely. What's your dog figure? What's your hound dog's name? Gypsy. What do you figure, Gypsy? Having a good day or what? Hey? <laughs> Just get out of my car. <laughs> I tell you what, what do you do for a living? Tires. Okay. Yeah. Tire breaker, bead breaker, tire man? Uh, tire, well, technical terms, a tire technician, but I call it a tire toucher. Tire toucher? <laughs> <laughs> I had a, look at that. I tell you what, guys, I, it's hard to explain actually how good this vehicle looks. It is just, very plain, very simple, and it just something about it that just instantly catches your eye. I love the headlights. What was the expert? The headlights? They used to be uh, chock full of nuts coffee cans. There, you got a couple of coffee cans on there, hey? Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty bizarre. Does it overheat? Any heating problems at all in it or anything? Or? No, not what, at all. What, what is the grill out of? That used to be the original Corolla grill. Oh, you cut it in half and put an edge it sideways? Yeah. I tell you what, I like how you got the strut set up there. Yeah. Now, what is this registered as? Corolla? Yeah. That's pretty cool. I take it you got no roll up and down windows. Nope. I've done all the weight reductions I could. It weighs 810 kilograms with a half a tank of gas. How much does it weigh? 810 kilograms with a half a tank of gas. And I can't believe you say it'll do 140 kilometers an hour? Yeah. I tell you what, <laughs> the only guy that drives a car that has to worry about the boards blowing off. But, <laughs> hey? Yeah. 
<laughs> I love it. I'm just curious. Hey, Kane, how much are you into this car for? $4,200. Is that right, eh? Yeah. That's for the car and all the screws and nails in the wood? Yeah. And the uh, machine work from Lorco. Okay. What are the, yeah, you got all the machine done at Lorco? Yeah. Oh, nice. And then I put it together in my camper over a winter. No kidding. Yeah. I just love it. The single lights. Anyways, thanks, man. Yeah, no, thank you. Nice meeting you. You bet. You have a good day. <laughs> you as well. There you have her guys. You just never really know what you're gonna run into at the Tim Hortons parking lot. And I will say that you need to actually take a look at this vehicle to actually appreciate it. Like it is, I tell you what, no bullshit aside, you should be happy what you built. Thanks. It is very interesting. Yeah. You know, from that's a car really builder's cool. point of view, <laughs> if you just look at it, you just say, well, that's really nice. But when you get looking at it, you go, my goodness gracious, all the rest of these things are incorporated into it. Right. The windshield turn wipers, right. for instance, like you use the front cowling, you screwed that stuff on there, it looks like. Yep. You know, the way the struts are in the front end here, how that's put together. You know, just simple things that you take for granted. Yeah. You know? You know, the nice thing about this hinge replacement is not that big a deal, eh? No. Like six no, bucks, no. eh? You get a new hinge. Yeah. <laughs> are they spring-loaded? No. They should have got spring-loaded ones on it. Yeah. Your door latch, what is that? That's... What's that? It's off of the screen door. The door latch is off a screen door. <laughs> yeah. I love it. You got a gate hinge up there. I tell you. I tell you, man. It's a cool piece. Thanks. Okay, I better continue to go get something to eat. Okay. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed that as much as I did.